Let's say you guys are trying to escape the Sahara Desert. Okay. Whenever you're ready, take it away. It's so hot. Uh, and it never ends. Whose idea was it for us to even come out here? You, this is part of your stag do. Like, before you got married, you wanted to do this. Look, look there's a reason behind it, because like, I don't know, I, just, I was trying to get more in touch with my African side, but this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> there's a reason that we all walk out of the desert. You got a good point there. <laughs> At all. But you know, here, you know, I'll just check the, the guidebook and see what it says. If there's some advice on how we can get out of here. What is in the box? Well, hold on, let me check. What's in the box? Uh, yeah, that's just an empty bottle. It's kind of useless. That's pointless. Why did we... We should have filled that up with water <laughs> before we walked into the desert. That was your job. And now we're here. In Africa. That was my, I thought that was your job. Why would you be carrying it if I filled it? I, I don't know, because I have the backpack. You know what? Screw it. We're just going to take the bottle and you know see what? if we can't find some water and just keep it moving. Because you know, this, we're all we have right now. And I, it's hot. I thought I had the map. I thought I was, that was my job. Check your pocket. Because I, I do you have the map. I do. I do have the map. Okay, well, what's the I wrote map down, say? The map says, I ate my gerbil. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand how that might affect you now. <laughs> I was <laughs> distraught. <laughs> and that's probably why I forgot the water. Right. And I got hungry. No, and no, I thought, no, it's fine, bro. Let it out. Let it out. But and his name like, was Fluffy, mm -hmm. and there was some moisture in the gerbil. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know where there's not moisture. There's not moisture in the bottle there's or not. here at all. There's moisture no. coming out of here, though. Yeah, not much. You're right. You're getting dehydrated. A little bit. I'm kind of tired, to be honest with you. Look, can you? I'm gonna look on Google and see if I can find something to do about dehydration when there's no water. I'm glad that you get service. <laughs> <laughs> In the Sahara. <laughs> Green's good, blue's bad? It's, like, it's the color of your pee. Okay, no, I can... <laughs> so you're watching earlier today. I, 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 well, yeah, it's teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> I got your back. You're a good friend. I you. <laughs> your sister <laughs> wanted to make sure I watch, you know, she wanted me to watch after you, alright? You know, I'm just... I, you know, I've been really, I've been really pissy today, and I'm sorry. You have been. You kind of been a little. There was bitch. not a point. <laughs> That's a bit mean. Part of I'm, just, I'm just being honest with you. I'm it's, hot. The sun is beating down on me. You have tentacles now for some reason. That's probably a mirage. It's, what, I'm just going to sit out for a No, minute? it's fine. You know what? I, want. I think I have a. I got this this bar here that's supposed to kind of help. Do you want this? Like with alcohol in it? That that would not help your hydration issue You're at all. Absolutely right. I'm, well, I'm just not here, myself. To today. Oh, hold on. It says on there. It says. Squat! It doesn't say anything. It says, it says squat. Okay, no, yeah, so thank you. Can, <laughs> this is, this is, is that caramel? That's nice. That's I don't really know. Good. I just found it. Okay, well this doesn't really solve our problem, bro. We're still here, man. We're gonna die well, if we don't do something. I can well, totally call someone on my phone, but I don't have service. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah. Well, do you see any landmarks or any, can we navigate by the stars? Like, I don't know how to do that. I saw a sign back there. You saw a sign? Yeah, like a couple miles back. Well, what did it say? Keep rubbing. <laughs> <laughs> I, told yeah. you, I told you not to go into that building. We're supposed to be a team. <laughs> I, I told you not to go into that, to that shop. And you should have came with me. <laughs> but I'm, but she was doing the rubbing. <laughs> This could have been for everybody. No, it's not. But look, all that, aside, all that aside, I feel like we've been walking from that direction. We should probably keep walking that direction there, right? I mean, I guess. That makes the most sense to me. Possibly. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go for it, man. All right, well, you know what? You know, before we do, I got, I got something. So my dad actually did this trip. Okay. Like yeah. years ago. Like this. Like four of them went out, three of them came back. But no, it's cool, because the odds are better, right? Because 75... And 50. Just go with it. We both have <laughs> it's public math. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't like numbers. Well, they, <laughs> the thing is, the majority of them live, right? And so I said, well, what advice do you have? Because there's acceptable loss, right? Okay. Yeah, no, I see yeah. that. So yeah, I said, so what do, what do you have advice? And he said, don't talk to me until I've had my coffee. <laughs> So I probably didn't get any advice from him. Um, he slapped me around a little bit, but it was after the coffee. Well, well, before I go into this, was that like a traumatic experience? Because I don't want to like... Not really, because it was pretty standard. 
Oh, it was a dandy. Like, Dad, the house is on fire, don't talk to me. Oh, I mean, as long as it happened, as long as it happened every day, you shouldn't have really any, like, mental it, damage from that. No, it really, now. really kind of strengthened my resilience. Well, so you know what? If that's the case, you probably have, like, a good relationship. We should call him on the phone that I have with no service, make him some coffee with the water that we don't have, and, you know, I'm just... <laughs> You're getting married. I think you're just stressed out. <laughs> I think that's all this is. Like, I'm not gonna get married if I die here. But you know what? If she were here, she would have something to say about this. I don't. She always gives great going. advice. And in this situation, she would say, "Rabbit season, fire." <laughs> <laughs> Which is basically her way of saying, "Seize the moment." <laughs> you know, you gotta go for it. Sign up for English classes. That's, I mean, she doesn't really speak any English, but that's, we're getting past that. There's a translator app on Facebook, I like it. <laughs> and I have service, but I don't right now. I'm just, I'm sorry, we haven't spoken in a while. It's just a lot. You and her? Kim? Kim. Him. <laughs> She's a guy, so. <laughs> You tell me that now in the middle of the Sahara? I mean, it's just us bros, man. There's nothing weird going on. I'm a faithful lady. <laughs> you are. And that's, I, I kind of actually wanted to bring you out here just so it could be just us two. So like that's, a, that's what this is about? No, not like that. Oh. I've been, no, I just kind of want to, so um, I saw your fiance and I, I wanted to tell you this in a, a place where you really can't hurt yourself mm -hmm. or anybody else, but I saw her kissing a, a dude. Four of them. <laughs> <laughs> I just, so, I mean, I'm really sorry, and I tried to confront her, and I said, you know, it's really gonna hurt him, what are you doing, and she looked at me, What'd she say? Square in the eye, looked me square in the eye, and said, my spidey sense is tingling. <laughs> and I said, you should put the needle down, and get yourself clean, because he loves you. That's what, that's what she said to me, the first night we ever went out. I thought her spidey sense only tingled for me! Apparently it tingles for half the club. <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's a new beginning. I mean, think about it. Because if you can, if you can survive this, you can survive a breakup. It's hot, and I'm crying, and that's making me more dehydrated, and I have a lot of hormonal things going on. And the only real thing that comes to mind to solve this situation right now. After that, he desperately wanted. Wait, what? Are you doing? <laughs> After that, he desperately wanted a hug, and unfortunately, Zoe was a porcupine. <laughs> I'm not even sure what that means. Well, you get emotional, you're speaking in the third person, and it's really weird. You know, I'm just gonna lay here, and don't leave me, it's fine. You know what, you know, I... I thought about the situation, and I, I gotta be honest with you, I actually have an emergency beacon with me. What is it? So, we can call... <laughs> had that the entire time. I had to get you far enough out to be able to tell you about her kissing dudes! We could've just texted about this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Call the beacon, I'm leaving. I'm not dealing with this anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got a signal? Okay. They'll be here in five minutes. What's that? You sure? He says, go see Larry, Lori at first command. <laughs> <laughs>